Okay, we can't talk about the Oscars, you guys, without mentioning the fashion. We're breaking down yes. all the best and worst looks of the night with celebrity stylist Philip Long. Yeah, Philip. looking good himself. Philip. Okay, Thank Philip, you. we <laughs> love you. We can't wait to hear your opinions. What was your overall impression of the night? Everybody was trying really hard. There was a lot of great fashion, a lot of great designers, and color, color, color. There were a lot of trends, really. Yeah, lots of trends. We want to get your take on some of the fashion. So first up, I want to hear what you thought about Nicole Kidman and her sky blue Armani Privé gown. Mwah. Yeah, She is perfection. Nicole Kidman is a movie star. She never disappoints. She really just brought it, you know what I mean? And leave it to Armani to make it something elegant and chic. She's really old Hollywood style. And we saw a lot of new Hollywood old style. <laughs> so <laughs> it was really great to watch Nicole just kind of represent like in the way Kate Blanchett would or just any of the old Hollywood divas. And she is just always classic fashion. Very Kate Blanchett. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Great. She looked great. Right? right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She looked great. Philip, what do you think about Oscar winner Ariana DeBose? What do you think about her outfit? And that was new Hollywood glamour. Yeah. I think Ariana DeBose really just brought it that elegance. It was again, very couture, very 50s. Valentino, this was the color of the season, uh, uh, somewhat of a version of a watermelon pink almost. It was really, really gorgeous. And I think it's really interesting to be able to see when a dress really works on someone's body and when it really flatters somebody and when someone's just wearing fashion. Mm -hmm. She wore fashion and it worked on her body. It was perfection mm -hmm. and new Hollywood glamour. Absolutely, but speaking of that, Tracy Ellis Ross had a very similar look to that, but was this a winner in your mind? And that's the interesting thing. So when, when fashion comes out on the runway, there's like certain sections of a show. This was clearly part of the same section, but it just didn't work on her body. It didn't, it wasn't flattering. It was everybody's worst dress everywhere. And Tracy loves fashion. It just was not working on her fashion, yeah. you know, on her body. Really, the color was great, but she looked saggy. It just was lumpy and bumpy. It wasn't wasn't what she should have done. She should have brought something a little more. Tracy loves fashion. She loves Valentino. And I thought she was going to have a moment, but she didn't. Yeah. Philip shoots it straight. I, I like love it. it. The mermaid cut, I thought, didn't fit her body as well. Thank you for oh. my opinion on that. <laughs> Tori, hey, Philip, really quickly. Tori used to work at a bridal store. At a bridal so. salon. So I know the silhouettes. Uh, Philip, yeah. I do want to know uh, two looks. One is case Stu, Kristen Stewart. <laughs> I really like Case Stu, but I know it's controversial. The other one was Timothy Chalamet, or Timothée, <laughs> if you love Francais. But what was your take on both of these? Great after party outfits. Oh, oh but they weren't at the after party. Right. They were at the event. Uh, they looked like they went to the event, they had a great time, probably looked very elegant, and then went down to the beach and had sex on the beach <laughs> like that cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> and left half their clothes behind. Oh, God. Fill in. Fill in. Sure, you're at the Oscars. Right. I get it. You're young. You're cool. You're edgy. Please wear a shirt. <laughs> Take it off for the after party. And Kristen, where's the skirt? Lady Diana was rolling over in her grave. <laughs> Lady Diana was, was disruptive, and she was a, a rebel in her own way, especially in her latter years. But... She never, 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 never would have worn shorts to the Oscars. What does it take to open Philip up a little bit? Seriously, I mean, we should get him a little drink or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing what everybody's thinking. thinking. Yes. Yes. So thank you, Philip. You yes. are the block, you know, that we're thinking. Okay. Um, Zendaya. I got to be honest, I got a Sharon Stone Gap vibe from that white shirt. Remember when Sharon Stone wore her <gasps> husband's Gap shirt? I loved it. What do you think? Okay, okay, don't, don't mix up the moment. So okay. Sharon okay. Stone wore a Gap t-shirt. With a, with a, I believe it was a Vera Wang skirt or maybe an Armani skirt. That was one look. Then she wore her husband Phil, the publisher, the newspaper publisher's white shirt Got with it. a with a Vera Wang skirt. Got so it. don't mix the fashion moments. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I think this is again modern, modern, modern. This is new Hollywood. This is new Hollywood glamour. You know, 25 years ago, I dressed 13 celebrities for the Oscars in one night. 13, all wow. of them. Angela Bassett, Courtney B. Vance, Will, and Jada. Wow. J-Lo, her first time at the Oscars. Selma, first time at the Oscars. That was new Hollywood glamour. This is the new, new Hollywood mm. glamour.
Mm. Perfection. Zendaya can wear anything. She is magic. She's the new Halle Berry. Yeah, she yeah, is. She is. And well, a bracelet. Well, it's 20 years since I dressed Halle Berry in that outfit when she won her historic. Wow, I love Look that. at you. Unbelievable. I, I kind of want to talk about the new old Hollywood because, you know, white, <laughs> man, white men can't jump is a new, but it's not old. It's kind of right in it's the old. middle. It's old. It's old. It's okay, old. well, I'm... <laughs> Now, now, I have to get your opinion on this because my man Wesley Snipes made his comeback, but it was with this outfit. And I'm like, it looked like he should be getting out of like a Model T in like 1912, but like a <laughs> nice one, like a fancy one. What do you think? Right. Except it's 2022. <laughs> um, listen, this is one of those. This is one of those moments where fashion again on the runway. This would be magnificent in the show. I believe it was Balenciaga. Uh, it was. It was. It would be magnificent. Would you want to date somebody in that outfit? Absolutely not. Would I want to put somebody in that outfit? I would probably be fired. Ooh. I think on the runway it was beautiful, but put some pants on, Wesley. Put some pants on. This looks like my shorts and my leg warmers at the gym. Like, mm, right. just, mm. The color was beautiful. And Wesley has a history of doing this. Wesley has worn some weird little quirky outfits along the way to the Oscars. You're right, so. it's on brand for, for him. Yep. Something that I feel like our viewers are split between, and we want to hear your opinion, Billie Eilish in this black ruffle dress. Yeah. Did you think this was modern cool or just a big miss? If sad and sorry and depressed was a dress, <laughs> it would be this. <laughs> it was like a bad mood. The dress was a bad mood. I like, love it. I'm here. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, again, beautiful girl, beautiful girl. She, we've seen her at the Met Gala. Right. She looked like Marilyn Monroe on the on the steps. It was beautiful. What, what, why keep hiding? And and it just even she's trying to find her body yeah. under there. Look, she's like, I know I'm under here somewhere. <laughs> uh, I, mean, oh, I love it. I love you, it. Yeah, you keep it real. You really do. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. And for our viewers out there, you got to check out Philip's new podcast, True Crime, Fashion and Passion. Oh, that it's amazing. coming in the next few weeks. So it's good. Oh, it's we good. can't wait. We can't wait. And you can follow him at Philip. Block. Thank you well, so much. Well, come back Bella. and I'll talk about crimes and fashion. It's yes. good. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. Come back. Absolutely. We love Real murders, not just Billie Eilish. <laughs> <laughs>